This is the Roper Rundown for Tuesday, April 1st, 2014. Citizen Kane, Star Wars, It's a Wonderful Life. These titles often show up on lists of the best movies of all time, but I say they belong in the Museum of the Overrated. In fact, here's my list of the 10 most overrated movies of all time. At number 10, It's a Wonderful Life. No, it's not. George Bailey gets hammered at a bar, he crashes his car, he leaves the scene of an accident, and he's all too willing to throw Uncle Billy under the bus. And if you ask me, Pottersville looks like a lot more fun than Bedford Falls. At number nine, The Wizard of Oz. It's a musical, but I defy you to name one song or remember one melody from this movie. None of these tunes have stood the test of time. Number eight, Pulp Fiction. This movie is so confusing. It starts in the middle and then it ends in the beginning. One minute John Travolta's dead, the next thing you know he's having breakfast with Samuel L. Jackson and nobody even says anything about it. At number seven, Saving Private Ryan. How about a spoiler alert? They give away the whole movie with the title. If Steven Spielberg is supposed to be some kind of genius, how come he didn't call this, they're gonna try to save Private Ryan. At number six, Star Wars. It's set a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, but how come they have spaceships and talking robots in Harrison Ford? That doesn't even make sense. Number five, The Godfather Part Two. Okay, first of all, there are a lot of subtitles in this movie. If I wanna read, I'll buy a book. Number four, Jaws. How can this be the scariest movie of all time? All you have to do is stay out of the water and you're fine. Besides, every time that stupid shark showed up, you could hear the music telling you he's on his way. The third most overrated movie of all time, 2001, A Space Odyssey. When this film was released in the 60s, it was held as a visionary classic. All I know is we've got apes and all of a sudden we're in space and then the computer talks to the astronauts. And how about this? Hello, 2001 has come and gone and none of this stuff happened. They got it all wrong. The second most overrated movie of all time, Le Dolce Vita. Okay, it's in black and white, and they don't speak English. Are you kidding me? And my number one pick for the most overrated movie of all time, Citizen Kane. It's in black and white. Come on. How can it be the greatest movie of all time if they didn't even know how to film it in color? Also, spoiler alert, turns out the whole movie is about some sled. How can a movie about a sled be the greatest film of all time? I'm Richard Roper. This is the Roper Rundown for Tuesday, April 1st, 2014. Thank <laughs> you.